Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for day number two of our Getting Lean Protocol, where we're here to talk about nutrition. I'm just gonna be straight up with you. Nutrition is the most important thing. Specifically, planning how much calories and macronutrients you're eating for what your goals are. What do I mean by that? If you want to gain muscle, you need to put on muscle, you must eat in a calorie surplus, meaning that you must eat more calories than you expend each day like we talked about in the last video. Your total daily energy expenditure or the amount of calories you burn in a day, you gotta eat more than that number if you wanna gain weight and grow your muscle mass. Now if you wanna lose weight and lose body fat at the same time, remember that requires a calorie deficit which is eating a little bit less than you're burning every day. So for example, if your total calories burned throughout the day, including existing and just exercise, if it's 2,500 and you wanna eat in a calorie deficit, you'd wanna eat something like 21 to maybe 2,200 calories so that consistently over time, your body is shedding body fat, revealing that nice, lean, zen dude physique. Now Dan, is it simply a matter of just eating a certain amount of food? Does the food quality matter? Of course it matters, but you can also enjoy indulgent food and still live to be super old and have an awesome body the whole time. What's a good protocol for this? Brandon and I go with the 70% rule. 70% of our food intake in general comes from whole nutrient rich sources. Ladies and gentlemen, to be very simple with you, I'm just talking about real food. I'm just talking about food that hasn't been messed with by the man or the government, dude. I'm just talking about real food. Food that comes from the ground, things like nuts, fruits, vegetables, lean meats, red meats, fish, things like that. The other 30% guys, have fun. As long as you're hitting those calorie and macronutrient numbers, you can enjoy things like chocolate and cake and maybe a little cerveza beer every now and then. So when should I eat? Honestly guys, the whole old fitness dogma about eating six meals a day, not true at all. It doesn't matter when you eat, your body only cares that you get the required number of calories and macronutrients for that day. One strategy you could do, which Brandon and I like a lot, and a lot of other people in the Zen Dude Fitness community already like, is intermittent fasting. So if you're someone who likes to eat a ton of food, just skip breakfast, go until 2, 3 p.m. without eating, and then you get to pile all your calories in for the day at the end of the day and feast like a king and then you feel like you're cheating because you stay super lean and shredded and continue to lose body fat but you get to eat awesome, delicious, large portions of food. Next guys, supplements. They're exactly what they sound like. They are here to supplement an already well-oiled machine, AKA an already great existing diet filled with 70% whole foods. Real basic guys, we take three of them. A green juice, BCAAs, which is branched chain amino acids, and protein powder. Why would I take green juice? Because micronutrients are important. Along with getting the right number of macronutrients, fats, carbs, and proteins, you also need a healthy number of micronutrients to keep your body functioning optimally. And when you're on the road and traveling a lot like we do and like a lot of you do, you can't always get those micronutrients in. So green juice is a huge one for us, Athletic Greens. That's the best one on the market that we have found. That's the one that we use. Next, branch chain amino acids. If protein is the building blocks of muscle, branch chain amino acids are the building blocks of protein. So, why would I take BCAAs? Well guys, if you practice intermittent fasting, you don't wanna break that 50 to 75 calorie threshold, meaning while you're fasting, you don't wanna eat more or consume more than 50 to 75 calories. Branched chain amino acids deliver all the same recovery and muscle building uh, benefits that, pro that consuming protein does, but get this, without the calorie intake, that's right, you're building and hanging on to lean muscle and you don't even have to break your fast. I think that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. So the BCAAs we take, it's no surprise here, Athletic Greens as well, they have a great capsule version of BCAAs that you can take before your workout while you're in the fasted state so you stay nice and muscular. Lastly guys, protein powder. There is no such thing as the best protein powder out there because if you're not eating enough protein for your body's needs, then it's irrelevant what kind you're taking. So, you can't just expect to drink one protein shake a day and get super jacked. You need to be eating the correct amount or grams of protein for your body and protein powder is just another way to kind of make that a little bit easier. So the one we recommend again is from Athletic Greens, banana, chocolate, vanilla, pick your flavor. 
On tomorrow's video, guys, we're gonna talk about how to optimize your environment and the community of people that you surround yourself with in order to hit your goals and live an epic life. Click the bell below to get notified about the video tomorrow, and we'll see you tomorrow.